gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material. But you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? The man has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself. But merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. Oh, good. Mr. Hero's here! You ready to save the day? You're gonna shit yourself when you realize what I've done. Shut up!
Alice, my wife, the best thing that ever happened to me. She smiles and the darkness lifts. For her, I've tried things I otherwise never would. I've never really minded if it's made me feel like a fool. She's a photographer, and the world she sees through her lenses is unique and beautiful. She has the vision. She sees things others don't and knows how to make them visible to everybody. She did it with me, too. She teased out things I was only vaguely aware of. She always saw me in the best possible light. Okay, I should be able to figure this out.
have no idea how badly you're screwed. It's gonna be a blast to watch you find out. Don't wanna get hit by those. It's not... it's you. Did... did you help me? Looks like you're feeling better now. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I don't know what happened. There was... this guy. Before you say anything, I know I look like him, but I'm not. Don't worry. You just don't feel anything like he does. He was in my head. I feel like I need to take 50 showers. Where is he? That asshole wanted to get into the projector booth. He was talking about fixing things so the sun never comes up. God, it didn't seem that weird when he was saying it. It sounded really good at the time. You weren't yourself. The projector booth. That sounds about right. I need to get in there. I have the access code for the door. Here. Thanks. I'm just glad you showed up now. He said he'd be back after he'd arranged for some security. Do you feel up to telling me what's going on here? We have an art exhibition here, supposed to open tomorrow. I'm the curator. My name's Serena Valdivia. Alan Wake. Holy shit, it is you. I didn't... I mean, I've seen you on the big screen. I... I know your wife. You know Alice? Wait. Big screen? Yeah, we have a film from her here. What the hell happened to you? Getting back to Alice. Oh, God, yeah, sorry. Uh... It's quite a coincidence that you're here. She made this short film. I mean, she shot it years ago. You're in it. It's a part of the exhibition. I'm in a film? Yeah, it's like... I mean, it's just footage she shot of you at some point. But she turned it into this... thing. It's, a uh, Almost like a memorial of sorts. Because, you know, you're supposed to be dead. 
or something. Uh huh. How's Alice? Is she all right? She's okay, I guess, all things considered. I know her pretty well. You're really Alan? I can't believe you're here. Nobody knows what happened to you. But there are people who say they've seen you. That wasn't me. It just looks the same. Like, you know. Yeah, but that guy's a lot more slimy. The thought of him makes me... I hate him, but I... There's something about him, this... God, he's so creepy. Anyway, you're not like him. At all. I hope you can stop him. System? I guess it was too much to hope for an alarm and a fat renting. The Champion of Light can feel the fragment of the signal in his pocket. The weapon that can change what will be. It's incomplete, but it's all he has.
going right. <laughs> You've been up to something, haven't you? Too bad it's not gonna do any good. I'm a better you than you ever will be, and I've got all the time in the world. Everything you've got is going to be mine. Your life. Your wife! <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? The sun's never coming up now. I can keep this up forever! Show yourself! Whatever you say, buddy! <sighs> the rush of darkness is unstoppable. Time itself twists and tears, sweeping the Champion of Light back with its dark currents. Again he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is, a maze that loops back into itself. I'm, I'm here again. He sent me back. The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged, almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. again. Emma? You here? Wow, it is you. I, I guess all of it really happened. You remember me? Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had. And then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I, I went out and got them. Well, most of them. I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those, those things started showing up, and one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was gonna follow him in there. Sorry. It's good you didn't. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I, I kinda remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. Yeah, okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going crazy here? 
Just go get that battery. Try to stay calm. You're perfectly sane. We're caught in a time loop. That's why this is happening again. I... I believe you. God, I feel like I might just lose it any second now. How come you're not freaking out over this? Because on my personal weird shit -a meter this just doesn't rate. Look, I know something happened to me before... You're gonna be okay, if you just keep cool, okay? Thanks for getting this stuff for me, it's a big help. I hope so. Are you gonna make everything blow up at the oil field again? I have to. Well, whatever the hell else you might be, at least you're not boring. Just the battery. That'll save time. Well, this should be perfectly safe. <laughs> 